what used to be considered a major paper. And now it's a, it's a, it's like a supermarket throwout. That's Donald Trump this morning, panning the globe's satirical portrait of a Trump-led America as a land of forced deportations, military defiance, and diplomatic gaffes. The Republican frontrunner wasn't amused. I won Massachusetts with almost 50 percent of the vote. It just shows you the power that paper has. From a PR standpoint, the globe's gambit was a brilliant move drawing attention from Trump, nemesis Elizabeth Warren, and an ever-growing array of news outlets. Starting at 6 a.m. on BBC World Service, um, and then uh, moving on to CNN, MSNBC, Fox. Whether there's an accompanying political payoff is unclear. In a serious companion piece, the Globe editorial board urged Republicans to rally around Paul Ryan or Mitt Romney. Despite the paper's liberal reputation, editorial page deputy managing editor Katie Kingsbury hopes Republicans heed that argument. If they don't say, we support the Boston Globe, I, I don't mind that. But if they're, you know, we get people thinking, if we get them to pause and reflect, is this the direction that we want our country uh, to go in, um, then this will be worthwhile. And she insists she's not worried about Trump turning the Globe's statement into a talking point that helps him. The only aim for us was to spark a conversation, create a dialogue, and we clearly did that. They also sparked outrage among Trump loyalists, with Kingsbury, the paper's de facto spokeswoman, taking particular heat. And frankly, I've been inundated. I've gotten tons of tweets that, you know, say awful, horrible things that personally about me. I've gotten um, tons of emails. I've heard from a lot of readers who are very upset about this um, and who have, you know, threatened to, to cancel their subscriptions. To which she replies, This is really our job. And, um, you know, we're just doing it in an unconventional way this week. Two more points. Kingsbury told me that Globe publisher John Henry was very supportive of the fake front page concept and that if Trump wants to change the Globe's mind, they'd be happy to take his call. If he told you that he wanted to come in for an ad board to meet with you guys, would you do it? Of course we would. We'd welcome him anytime. Adam Riley, WGBH News.